our business correspondent, Helia Ebrahimi, is here to disentangle it all. So tell us first, how realistic are these figures from the Treasury, or are they overly gloomy? Look, I think what the Treasury's come out with today are full of really dire headlines, as Gary was talking about. Recession, job losses, house price collapse. It even says that, you know, foreign investment in Britain is basically going to dry up. This is the second stab that uh, Treasury has had. Remember, they brought out a long-term forecast, and this is their two-year horizon of what would happen in a Brexit vote. But if we take a moment and just try and unpick those numbers, as you said, in their base case scenario, they're talking about a, a year where you would see a technical recession. But take a look at those numbers, 0.1% contraction in each quarter. So that's quite a mild recession. And even in their worst case scenario, you're talking about a contraction in the economy of 2.2%. Compare that to 2008, where the economy shrank by 6%. That was a lot worse than what the Treasury was talking about. And to talk about another set of figures, house prices. They were today talking about a fall of 10 to 18 percent in your home property. But actually, the OBR is currently predicting house prices to rise almost 10 percent. So it's basically flat. So why are economists sceptical about these warnings? Well, look, I think everyone agrees that in a Brexit vote you would have a slowdown in economy, but not a lot of economists are predicting a recession. Even the Bank of England said that a technical recession was just one possibility. And that's because a lot of people are saying the mindset is not being captured by what the Treasury are talking about. If more than 50% of the population vote for Brexit, then if Brexit happens, this is what they want. Why would there be more shock and uncertainty for a whole two-year horizon? Helia, thank you very much. John. Well, now, she's